Hi and welcome to C Programming for Arduino, a step-by-step -step guide. In previous video, we discussed about using the pointer to change the value of a variable. Now let's discuss how it is done. If you wish to use a pointer to change the R value of the variable it points to, then you use the indirection operator. The syntax of indirection operator is as follows. This is the example. Note that we have discussed this part of the code previously. This statement says that get the R value of the variable pointer, go to that memory address and copy the value 10 into integer bytes of memory at that address. Now the variable number has a value 10. To understand the use of indirection operator consider the following code. This code simply displays the information about pointer variable and variable number which we used in a code example before. In this program variable number is initialized to 5 and pointer variable with integer type specifier is defined but not initialized. This part initializes the serial monitor so that we can see the output on it. These lines print the output on serial monitor. This is the output of this program. Note that this is the L value or memory address of variable number and this is its R value. This is the L value of pointer variable and this is its R value. Note that this R value is garbage. If it was initialized to null then its R value would be zero. Now let's add these two statements to the program previously discussed. Now the output is as follows. Notice that the R value of variable number now displays as 10 rather than 5. The reason is because the first of the two new statements initializes pointer variable to point to number variable using the address operator. Next you used the indirection operator to assign the value of 10 into the variable number. Also note that the R value of pointer variable is the L value or address of the variable number. To understand the relation between pointers and arrays, we will see a program which simply displays the content of a character array. This is the code. This part configures the serial monitor. This is an array of 6 characters. Here an integer i is defined. This part initializes the array with some characters. This loop runs 5 iterations. The output of this program simply displays the word hello. Now change the statement in the loop like this. When you compile, upload and run this program, the program still displays hello. Now replace this statement with this expression. Still the output is not changed. The reason is because both variations make use of the fact that using an array name by itself is same as using the L value of the array. This is how the individual characters are stored at the address. Let's discuss these two variations. Assume that the greet array is stored starting with memory address 2200. First, let's discuss the loop with this variation. On the first pass through the loop, because i is 0, the statement resolves like this. The indirection operator simply says to go to memory address 2200 and fetch the character found there. This is the letter h. On the next pass through the for loop, the statement resolves like this and the indirection operator fetches the letter E. The process repeats until the loop ends at which time the word hello is on the display. Now let's discuss the loop with second variation. The size of operator returns the number of bytes required to store the data type enclosed by its parenthesis. You know that a character requires one byte for storage in memory. Therefore the statement resolves like this and the letter H is displayed. For the second pass, the statement is also like this and the letter E is displayed. The process repeats until the loop ends, at which time the word hello is on the display. This exercise should convince you that using the array name greet is the same as the L value of the greet array. Let's take a moment and restate the various rules you need to follow when using pointers. A pointer variable must be defined using an asterisk in the definition like this. It defines a pointer that will be used with an integer variable. The scalar of the pointer is determined at the time the pointer variable is defined. The pointer's type specifier determines the scalar. The scalar is used to determine how many bytes are to be manipulated or changed by the pointer. A pointer never points to anything useful until it is initialized. Take this example. 
the address of operator is used to initialize a pointer with the L value of what is being pointed to. In this example, the address operator causes the L value of the variable my variable to be fetched and that value is then assigned to the R value of the pointer variable PTR. After a pointer is initialized, you can use indirection to change the R value of the variable being pointed to. It can be done like this. Note that this asterisk sign is the indirection operator, which have the effect of assigning the value 10 into my variable using the indirection operator and pointer variable PTR. You can also read the value being pointed to using the indirection operator, as in the given statement. This statement would print out the value 10 on the serial display device. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.